What's up everybody and thanks for tuning in to another video. We're doing a review on a self-proclaimed product stating that it is the world's best not only cover scent but also attractant. Let's go. Hell yeah. <laughs> so the product I'm going to be talking to you about today is Deer Dander made by Team Fitzgerald. Um, it's been being produced for over 30 years. And first off, let me just say, I'm not sponsored by them in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Uh, I actually bought this product off Amazon. Um, paid full price for it. It was $18 and change. But I had been using this product for four to five uh, years, or deer seasons. Um, so I'll be able to give you a little bit of information about it that you wouldn't know otherwise. This product has been, became kind of hard to get. It used to be made of, I used to buy Cabela's. Um, and I know it switches around to different uh, retail locations, but uh, for now, the only place I could find it was on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to um, buy it, check it out for yourself. If you want to try something new if you haven't ever tried it, uh, if you'll click on that link, take you right to the exact uh, place where I bought this one, and that'll help me out if you were to do that. Let's go over some statements that are made um, by Team Fitzgerald about the product and um, just give you a little bit of insight as to who they are and what they do. All right, so Team Fitzgerald, as I said, they've been do doing it for 30 years, making products, um, specifically the Red Label Deer Dander. So this is what it says. I'm going to read off the bottle. Um, works great on all deer species, including elk, uh, moose, boar, antelope. Works great all season long for all types of hunting. It was formulated to smell like a wet deer. And it contains no animal byproducts, urines, real or synthetic. So that's... I mean, that's the sound product. Everybody, most people are concentrating on one or the other. They're either worried about covering up their scent. It's, you know, big deal, cover up your scent. And add attractants, or you're adding attractants to cover, try to cover your scent. You know, y'all you, know how it goes. So the fact that you could use it as a cover scent and an attractant all in one <laughs> is hands down a uh, very good marketing, way, very good way to market this product. All right, so the way I've used this product is um, I'll take my Rubbermaid that I keep my clothes in in addition to my pine needles and my charcoal. If you had not seen those videos, I'll put up a couple cards for you so you can check those out. But yeah, as I, as I wash my clothes, I'll, put, I'll spray a little bit in the bottom, put my clothes in, and I'll do a couple light sprays on the top, close it up. Uh, in addition, I have been known to spray this on my boots or shoes, depending on which ones I wear. It depends on how wet or dry the leaves are and how cold it is. I like to wear tennis shoes a lot. Um, so that way I can move in a little quieter if I'm close to a bed and area. But even, even as I'm sitting in the stand, I'll just spray the tips of my boots. And I don't I don't spray the area where, you know, the general areas I go to my stand or none of that stuff. I just use it uh, exclusively as a cover scent. I have seen no negative side effects whatsoever. What I mean by that is I haven't, I haven't had a deer blow at me. You know what I'm saying? Deer are real particular. I mean, they'll blow at you for just having, you know, human scent. So the fact that I've used this for so many years and I've never had a deer that didn't actually look up at me and kind of figure me out, blow at me, is a plus. So no negative, no nothing negative. I've never felt like deer have blown out of there because of it or avoided the area because of the scent uh, within this product. All right, so this product does, however, seem to get old. Um, I use it for a couple seasons. Um, after that point, it kind of gets a detergent smell. It's not like an overwhelming loud smell, you know, uh, nothing fruity or nothing like that, but it just has a detergent type smell that seems to kind of overpower the, um, the the deer smell, if you will. So I'll, that's what I would recommend if you buy it. Uh, may use it for maybe a couple seasons. Uh, shake it up real good before you use it. And um, it smells just like deer. I mean, to be honest with you, it's, if you've never used it or smelled it um, and you know what a deer smells like, it's crazy. If you if you hunt and you've brought down several deer, I mean, you'll know what deer smell like, but you you won't necessarily know if that makes any sense um so pretty much picture if you were to get a deer and just freshly killed deer who may or it may or may not be wet and you were just to just put your face on its chest right here and just smell it that's kind of what it smells like i mean it, it smells just like a deer smells but it does seem to get old it loses its potency so after a couple seasons throw it away buy a new one um it comes in four ounces or that's what this is four ounces they've got a lot of deals on their website you can check them out um you know if you want to do some research on the brand now the thought of a cover scent and attracting in one is very appealing that's why i, ch I chose those it because it's hard to pick a product that's not going to run out something 
at some point. You know, if you use the esters at the wrong time, the does are going to blow at you and leave. If you use it at the right time, it may be the best thing in the world. Um, same way with with your with all the scents available, is they usually counteract with something if it's not the, the exact right time. So that's where this comes in. It I mean, can be used all season long. I use it from bow season to the end of deer season um, and have had no negative effects thus far. And for those reasons, I would recommend that if you're in the market for a new scent or you want to try something different that's not going to uh, get you blown out of the woods or, or, or run your deer off, it, if you're a weekend warrior such as myself, you know, there's a difference between going hunting and hunting. You know what I mean? If, if you're going out and you're, 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 your goal is 100% buck, you know, maybe this ain't for you. Maybe estrus is more for you this time of the year. Uh, other times of the year, this is going to be the product for you either way. Um, and it, and it, it says it will pull in deer. It says they are attracted to it. I haven't personally witnessed that, like a deer following, trailing me into my stand. But I have noticed no disturbances uh, due to the use of it. The only problem that I've had with this product is the spray lid. The actual spray lid does leak like crazy. But with a product as sound as this, it's not nothing that I'm going to complain about. It's just something I want to make you aware of. When you buy it, it's important that you keep it right side up. And, um, I mean, I usually even keep it in there with my clothes. I just, well, after I spray my clothes, I'll push everything in there. And I'll just kind of set it on the side because, I mean, the scent's already in there anyways. But the lid is crap. It does leak. Just wanted to make you aware of that. Uh, if you want to try a new scent, by all means, give this one a try. That is my recommendation. It's a great product. I've never had any issues with it, and I do highly recommend it. Uh, as I said before, I'll leave a link in the description to Amazon if you want to pick it up. Thanks for watching. Good luck to you on all your future hunts. And I hope you learned something from this video. Hope maybe I've introduced to you a new product that can help you out. Until the next time, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.